trying to get back on the path of happiness and loving myself and taking care of myself because just like a side note I noticed today that I was getting really like annoyed with Mike very easily and he really wasn't doing anything and I took a second and I just thought to myself like why am I being so annoyed and it's because I'm like relying on him to give me attention right now because I'm not giving myself attention you know what I'm saying like sometimes when things annoy you and other people it has nothing to do with them and everything to do with yourself I'm just reacting like to be honest, I don't know if you know anything about signs. I'm not like very into astrology. I'm into it like it's interesting But I don't know a lot about things, but I'm an Aries And so sometimes I just like fly off the handle and then after I do that Mentally, I take a step back and I reevaluate and I'm like shit girl. You shouldn't have done that <laughs> Good morning. Hey, hi welcome to a brand new vlog to a brand new day to a brand new new location chin chin to that currently in orlando with mike and my in-laws going to disney magic kingdom i really don't know a lot so if you are someone who is super into disney i will probably offend you i do not like disney i'm not a disney fan however i'm a halloween fan so we're going to mickey's halloween party mike and i have just been jet setting this entire month and if you have been keeping up here with the vlogs i haven't put any of the greece vlogs up just because i'm trying to make them like perfect mike and i went to greece then we went to napa uh, which you would have seen that vlog already. I'll link it up here. I'm actually uploading it. And then now we're in Orlando. So this trip, I kind of just want to decompress. I want to zen out, chill out. So that's kind of the vibe. There's going to be a lot of working out, a lot of just relaxing. I'm going to be uploading a lot of content, editing a lot of content. Like I just want to be in my bubble of just like happiness for the next five days. We've been go, go, go. And I'm not complaining. I'm just exhausted from going to point A to point B to going to the city, working. It's just, it's been a long for me emotionally physically i was in a really good place before we went to napa and ever since then i've kind of fallen off the bandwagon i need to get back into working out and just like doing things for me Guys, I am not a beer fan, but it's still technically fall. But Sam Adams, Jack Lantern, so freaking good. And then Mike's brother, Brian, discovered a, a good drink. Let me see your drink. This drink. Modelo. Salty. Limon Isal. Is there tequila in it? What is it? It's, oh, it's a beer. It's salty like I am. Salty bitch. Arriba. I like these two beers. Shocking. It's my morning tool. I always use multi tools, so I always recommend you bring one up. Who brings one everywhere? Whenever you travel. This one is a plier. What do we do with that? Pull teeth out with it? We, yeah. It's after your teeth excursion in Rome. Oh my god, don't even talk about that. I decided to get a multi tool next time you have a tooth problem in a foreign country. I'm just going to pull your teeth out. Oh my god, god forbid. Screwdriver. Uh -huh. File. Nail oh, file. Oh, sorry, this is a file. A nail file. This is a hole puncture. We need that for In case I ever need like, to drain blood out of someone. You vampire. <laughs> As you say, like shotgunning beers. I probably don't even know what most of these tools do. Well, you used one before. Serrated knife, bottle opener. Yeah. Valuable. We, oh, if that's what we use to open my beer. That's yep. exciting. Yep. This one, one, this one has a scissor. In case you're ever out in the woods. I need to cut thread off your clothes. I was gonna say, like, in case you're on vacation and have to cut a tag off your clothes. No, this is for a real woodsman or outdoorsman. Oh, seriously? So if you're out in the woods and then you're like, oh shit, there's a string on my shirt, you just take this scissors <laughs> out and cut them off. A metro woodsman? Yeah, exactly. Love it. That's a multi tool. I love your multi tool. Don't be home about it. It's it reminds me of uh, that Toy Story toy that Sid has. Isn't his name Sid? Um, With the baby head on that like contraption that's what that makes me think of when I you open it all the way story. can you open it all the way i never, never saw, saw toy story you're weird we're in disney and you've never seen toy story it's coming up as an infant detecting on my camera because of me yeah it's registering me as an infant it is because you have beautiful skin all right well thanks for your multi-tool uh, baby <laughs> 
the lines have already begun and it's we're sweating. Is the sprayers on yours? <laughs> sad day you know like when when you just cry about one thing and then the whole day just like snowballs into like a sad day so yesterday was kind of a hard day but I did try and turn the day around I did a workout in the afternoon which always makes me feel a little bit better and then last night you went to Texas Day Brazil for Mike's brother's birthday that was fun and it was also Halloween today everyone went to Disney World and Mike and I didn't go back to Disney World because let me tell you something guys very unpopular opinion I'm sure a lot of people are going to dislike me after watching this. Um, I don't like Disney World. It's just like not that magical. Granted, like I also didn't grow up being someone who went to Disney. The first time I came to Disney, I was like in my 20s and I haven't liked it any single time that I've been to it. We also went to see it as Halloween and it really wasn't decorated, like in my opinion, as much as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like decked out in Halloween and at 12 o'clock they had like, this uh, show. Sanderson sisters were there, Oogie Boogie. I love the Boogeyman, one of my favorite characters from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Love him. They were all on the stage like performing, but at that point we were so done that we just wanted to leave, but that probably would have been something that I really enjoyed. At the end of the night, Mike and I made a pinky promise we will never go back. I would go back to Epcot and drink around the world. Like that's fun, but I'm not down for like the Disney rides and meeting the Disney characters. All right. Let's do a quick makeup. I think I have like 20 minutes. This is for Amanda who asked me how I've been doing my makeup on this trip. Super natural and light because it's hot and humid and disgusting. Hydrate. Eye cream. I used to use this all the time. I forgot how good this is. The Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Wetting an Araceli sponge. I feel better anymore but i also keep forgetting to shake this it's been kind of like going on patchy and like separated i feel like i used to like this foundation more but i'll use it because it's still nice it's expensive too like 50 dollars and on my ears because my ears are a little red from the sun i don't know how i feel about this hourglass vanish airbrush concealer it's a little thick um, I don't know, that's just my thought and I'll show you what it looks like. It kind of just like goes on a little patchy in my opinion. I mean the coverage is definitely there, but I like something a little bit more hydrating. Say Beauty and Peachy. Are you nude in my video? No. Mm. Too bad. Okay, now I'm gonna do this blush that I honestly use as a bronzer. This is from Merit in Terracotta. And I put my cream bronzer on after my blush because I feel like it just makes it look more natural. It makes it look more like skin because the bronzer and the blush kind of blend together. And I also use it to contour a bit. 
this entire time I brought this and thought I would use it and I didn't, so I'm not packing this next time. The restaurant's texting us that our reservation is soon. It's fine, I still have time. Okay, good. <laughs> some air got out of me. Here, some air escaped you. I'm just keeping this here. Champagne shade in the center. Some brown gel. Easy, hold together, vacation makeup. I would say good morning, but it is past 12 o'clock. Go ahead. My cat just opened the door to let himself out. He's had enough of me and I've had enough of myself. I really need to stop apologizing for the crappy job that I'm doing vlogging. So this will be my last apology. Florida for me, had nothing to do with the actual trip itself. Like mentally, I just had a really hard time. Was upset about my dad and just like other things. And I was kind of like, I got in my own head um, and I'm PMSing. I'm getting my period any moment. So I just had a really hard time in Florida. Um, it wasn't a very relaxing trip for me. I was just like, like I said, in my own head, I had a lot of anxiety, I had a lot on my mind. And so I just like didn't film because I really wasn't in the mood. So this is my last apology, I'm getting it together. The remainder of this vlog is going to be me getting my mental health back on track. I just feel like November is a good month to just take it slow and get your mind right and get yourself in a good headspace because December is just like nuts and then it's the holidays and the holidays for me are very, it's nice because I get to spend time with my family but it's a really sad time because I think about my grandpa and how I used to spend Christmas Eve with him and like with my dad being sick, it's just, I think November is just important that I get myself together so that I don't look like this. I don't look like this for the rest of the year. This is why I didn't vlog but I'm gonna include this in the vlog and I'm gonna put this up because like this is the reality. Life isn't always rainbows and butterflies. And to be honest, I do a lot of this a lot of the time. So I need to work out, I need to move my body. Um, I worked out a few times in Florida, but I could have been a lot better. And I just find that that helps me. When I'm doing it, I feel really strong and I think it helps to remind me how physically and mentally strong I am. Is that even English? I don't even know what I'm saying, but you get what I'm saying. Like when I'm working out, I'm doing hard things. It's like I'm accomplishing something and I'm pushing myself through it. And it just helps to release energy and like get my endorphins going. So I'm hoping to be active the next few days, bring you guys along with me. Um, I already had my coffee, it's Friday. I'm working remotely. I'm like slammed with work. Um, so I've been kind of busy all morning, which is why I'm just filming now. And um, yeah, we're gonna do things that make us feel good, except we have to go to the dentist tomorrow, which I hate the dentist. If there is one doctor that I am like terrified of, it's the dentist. There's Chloe right there, trying to get in the bed that she doesn't fit in because Lily over there is in her bed 
And then Senor is coming over because he wants to be involved, but Chloe's crying because she wants to be in the living room on the couch. So if you hear crying, please ignore, but like, look at how cute Lily is. Oh my God, Lily. And then you have this one who's also very cute, but a big pain in the ass who's acting like a brat. I am eating a healthy salad for lunch. This is my typical cottage cheese, Parmesan cheese, arugula, salt, pepper. And then I put nutritional yeast, which is like added protein. It gives like a cheesy flavor because you know, I just need more cheese in my cheesy salad. And I'm back on drinking water. I was not drinking enough water in Florida. I don't like water bottles. I like a reusable water bottle, but there was nowhere to like fill while you're in Florida. So I know it doesn't make any sense because I should have just drank the water, but like the wastefulness of a water bottle bothers me. So I definitely didn't get my 64 ounces a day. So I'm eating healthy, I'm drinking my water, treating myself like the sad plant that I am. I'm not gonna lie to you, like that workout was hard and I definitely modified quite a few times. And I think a big part of being consistent with working out is to honestly accept yourself for where you are. If you think about it, honestly, when I used to work out, I used to do the same kind of workouts over and over and over again. So everything was really easy to me. My body was just like conditioned to perform the same way each and every day. So when I would try a different workout, when I would try something new, when I would up my weights, like that's when you see the most results because it's a challenge. So I just think by accepting where you are every day, just moving your body and not being mad or anxious that you didn't do everything perfectly and realizing that when things are hard, not only in workouts, but in life in general, um, you usually push through that a better version. So if the workouts are hard, that's good. You're pushing yourself, you're challenging yourself and you'll get to the point where that certain particular kind of workout isn't hard and then you can move on to other things like Life is just a journey. We get better and better each day. And I try to now welcome challenges. Whereas when I was younger, I definitely didn't like a challenge. And I just naturally, I feel like the human thing is to like things that come easily. I'm feeling good that I moved. I will link the workout that I did down below. I did get some packages from Shiseido. So I wanted to open this with you guys. Why do I feel like I have this though? Cause I do. <laughs> Shiseido Vital Perfection Lift Define Radiance Serum. It is supposed to lift, sculpt, brighten the skin. Uh, use morning and night on face and neck before moisturizer. Experience a firmer, tighter, more defined look across the face and neck. Rediscover youthful radiance. I already have one of these. I will keep this just because I wanna see if it's good. And if it's good, I'll either use this or give this away to someone. So stay tuned for that. There's a lot of things in here. Okay, well this fell right out of the packaging, but I just like love how luxurious, like look at how nice this is. Just like so freaking luxe, but this is the ultimate power infusing concentrate. Apply morning and evening after cleansing and before moisturizer. Wrinkles are less noticeable. Skin becomes smoother, more resilient and healthy looking with its radiance recharged. So it sounds like we're gonna look bright and bushy tailed considering the two things that we have here so far. Now you're gonna think this is so silly, but this is so exciting to me. They sent me facial cottons, little cotton squares, which Listen, I use reusable ones. When I do clients makeup, I do like to use throwaways just because I'm gonna be honest, I could use my reusable ones, but the amount of makeup that gets on them, sometimes no matter how much I clean them, the makeup doesn't come out. And if you're a client sitting in my chair and I'm doing your makeup and I go in to touch your face with a cotton round that looks like it was used, 
would you or would you not be disgusted? So this will definitely be a makeup kit essential for me. Uplifting and firming cream. I'm using one of their creams right now. So I'll try this one after I'm done with that one. But this is the Lift, Firm, and Brighten. Oh, and it's just so pretty. And it goes with this. Is this the same line? Yeah, Vital Perfection. I will have to use these two together. Yes, they sent me another cleansing oil. This one looks different than the other one that I got. However, I've been loving the other cleansing balm that they got me. I love that it has a pump. I will report back. Thank you, Shiseido. I'm very excited to try all of these things. And if you would like to hear more about them, stay tuned, subscribe, click the bell next to it. This way you get notification whenever a video goes up. Hello. I hope that the sound isn't as terrible as I think it's gonna be, but I just got done at the dentist. I bleed like a mother. I hate going to the dentist, not my vibe. However, they did a full mouth x-ray and your girl has no cavities. Thank you, knock on wood, because I am the biggest baby when it comes to the dentist. I have a lot to do in this car and I feel like this always happens when I go to the dentist and I'm sorry that the lighting is changing. I'm gonna go ahead and do car makeup. Guys, this is the reality of how I do my makeup most weekends. Like I will have a little weekend makeup bag packed um, and half the time Mike is driving so I can do my makeup while he's driving. However, today I am doing my makeup in the car outside of the dentist's office. This is just like a common occurrence and I feel like all the people that work at my dental office know that I sit out here for a good 45 minutes after my appointment. My mouth is killing me. I'm using my NYX Bear With Me. Um, oh, I didn't put sunscreen on. I woke up super late today. Mike and I have been watching his parents' dog, Lily. We woke up to a mess this morning. I don't even, well, I didn't really wake up to it. I woke up to the aftermath of the mess, but like we just, We've been having a rough couple days since getting home from vacation. Um, I need another vacation, to be honest. And this is the sunscreen I've been using and I washed my hands before I left the dentist's office. So, Neutrogena. I just like wanna lie in bed all day, but it's so beautiful out that I should do things. I just like don't wanna do anything. <laughs> That's like the vibe I've, that's been my 2022 vibe. Like just not in the mood to do a damn thing, which is kind of sad. And I put perfume on, so now this is gonna get rid of all my perfume. Don't you hate that? I hate that. I'm also like filming a reel, which is why you can see my phone right here. Guys, the content is never ending. The content is never ending. And I'm trying to get serious. No, I'm passionate about it because I spend so much time making content and it doesn't feel like work. Like I enjoy doing it. I look forward to doing this, so. I'm hoping to make this more of a everyday thing in my life. So here we are, here we go. All right, concealer is on. I'm looking more alive. Give myself a little bit of a bronze, a bronze today. What am I doing today? I'm gonna call my grandma and see if she's around. Pop in and say, hey, what's up, hello. And then I'm gonna go see my mom and my dad because I didn't see them this week because I was in Florida. I just like love this color. And for the longest time, I wasn't a big fan of this blush just because like I don't, the, the formula, I love the formula, but I wasn't a big fan of this shade. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I don't think I was like applying it right. It just like wasn't potent enough, but my God. That is potent. Also wanna see if Mike wants to go for a walk later. We went for a walk last night, it was nice. It's just like good to move the body. I'm trying to move the body more because I find like I get into this funk where I just sit and I don't leave the home and it's not healthy and I need some vitamin D. Oh my God. Yeah, I got foundation on my <laughs> windshield. That's lovely. My mouth is killing me right now. Back on this Behotch. She just like fills my brows in so quick. I just like don't really enjoy um, doing my brows in the car though because I'm like a little meticulous about them. And I find that the car, I don't have like a good setup or a good like angle here to really see what's going on. But like that brow looks good. This is a really good brow product. Oh, and I'm looking at my eyes 
is magnified, which is probably not helping either. You know what I was always taught when doing brows? That like you have to go in the direction that the hair grows, but like with this pencil, it's so like powdery that I don't even follow the rules. And I think that's what makes it so quick to fill in your brows. Like I can literally go like this, like back and forth and then brush it up and it doesn't look crazy. It's just really good. Like such a good brow pencil. I know it's Gucci and it's bougie, but like worth it. Worth it for the limited amount of time that I spend on my brows. I just feel like a little sparkle today. So I'm just putting this really pretty sparkly shade all over the lid. Sometimes you just need like an easy makeup day and I live for an easy makeup day. I'm gonna put some under the brow bone too. She needs a pick me up. She had her teeth picked all morning this morning. You make me hate the city. And I don't talk shit about you on the internet. Never told anyone anything bad. Sometimes I feel like, what's the Frankenstein's doctor? Like sometimes when I do my makeup, it's like she's alive because I look so dead before. Tinted brow gel to lift and fill in further and it's okay if you mess up, just wipe it away. Not that serious. Beauteous. A lip really makes it, let's be real. A lip makes all the feels. I love this lip liner, oh my god. This chick never lets me down. Mac Faux, she is old and decrepit. But she's still thriving. Does it look better with my hair down or pulled back? I feel like it looks a little bit better pulled back. But then again, like a little bit of sunnies on the head is kind of a vibe, you know? Like a cute little vibe, a vibey vibe. But like, I feel like I like the hair back. I don't know, I've just like, my hair's gotten so long that I just like really vibe with it being back and I wish I had brought a little comb to like fix the front. These are the car essentials. Check out my profile for more beauty content. Thanks for watching. I hate myself, <laughs> but I love myself. Like I look so much better, but I hate myself when I do like shorts. I just find it to be like so obnoxious like I love it but it's just like cringy to watch you know I'm gonna call my grandma see if she's home head over there hedge my parents obviously I'll bring you with me but this is the finished just like soft skin makeup look this took me about 15 minutes in reality if I wasn't talking to you guys and creating a short at the same time this would have took me like seven eight minutes tops so I'll list all the beauty products down below as I always do you're welcome oh good morning I got my period this morning, surprise. This is the reality of life. Like some days are better than others. I feel like as I started this vlog, I was in really good spirits. And as the days have gone on this weekend, I've slowly <laughs> dwindled into this. It sucks because Sundays are my days that I normally get like all of my filming and content creating done. I kind of like content batch on Sundays and I'm just not in the mood to do anything. I woke up early, it's already 10.45. I did upload a video. Yeah, I just had a lot on my to-do list today. And as you know, when I have a lot on my to-do list and I don't get any of it done, I get anxiety. However, I'm gonna get myself together. Mike made me pancakes, so I'm gonna eat these protein pancakes quickly. Not quickly, I'm gonna enjoy them and I'm gonna finish my last cup of coffee. This is my second cup of the day. I do a light workout today because I think that's what the day calls for. It's really important to give yourself the grace to have crappy days. Like I woke up this morning, I granted I woke up early, but I felt really awful. I kind of took it slow this morning. And while I really want to get all of my to-do list items done, like I'm just letting myself have a moment to just have a moment. And I think allowing yourself to feel your feelings. Mm. Pancakes also help, but I think it's important to just be nice to yourself. Like it's so cliche. And yes, I just put salt on my pancakes. I'm disgusting. Please do not follow my lead. I'm trying to be nicer to myself. I'm gonna eat my pancakes. We are gonna finish off this vlog, but we're gonna have a good day despite feeling crappy.